Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Genevieve and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to chalk paint furniture. I have been searching for a hutch like this for the longest time and I finally found it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, if you know me, you know I am very frugal when it comes to home decor, furniture, all that kind of stuff. So in the comments down below, I want you to guess how much I paid for this. Keep in mind, I am frugal, <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to have you guys guess how much you think that I paid for this. And then whoever guesses the price first, I'll pin that comment at the top so you guys can see the steal I got on this. So the first step when I get a piece of furniture is I vacuum off the shelves, vacuum out any drawers, and then I clean off the furniture. You can use like a soap and water mixture or I tend to just use like a uh, all-purpose cleaner. So I just use Method. This is like my normal household cleaner that I use. And just be gentle with it. I just spray it all over, wipe it down, get any like cobwebs out, all that good stuff. After I have cleaned the furniture, I will use like a little sanding block. I just get these from the Dollar Tree and I will go over any like rough edges that I feel. Keep in mind that chalk paint is extremely forgiving. It will like hide a lot of imperfections so you don't have to go crazy sanding. Um, I just went over like any really like rough edges that I found. You don't have to go crazy sanding at all. That is one of the wonderful things about chalk paint is it is so forgiving and it will kind of fill in any imperfections. So after you have sanded lightly over any rough surfaces, you're going to want to tape off any sections that you don't want chalk paint. So obviously I don't want to paint all over this beautiful original glass. So I just went through on the front and on the back like that. And I left it open because you can totally see the reflection of my camera setup. I literally have a chair on my dining room table to film this. So we're just gonna leave that open. And then also hardware, you're gonna wanna remove as well. Um, I don't care if I paint mine because I'm gonna go get new hardware anyway, but if you want to keep the original hardware, definitely take that off so you don't paint on it. The materials that I'm gonna be using for this project include painter's tape, a sanding block, a paintbrush, and I love the Linzer Best paintbrushes from Walmart, and this is just a one and a half inch paintbrush. That's just my preference and Walmart has them very inexpensive. A paint can opener or a butter knife or your nails, whatever the heck you wanna use. And this is the chalk paint that I use. This is Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the color I'm using is linen white. I have also used like all of their grays this is the best chalk paint. If you do want to seal your furniture, always go for min-waxed, water-based polycrylic. This is non-yellowing, and then um, it's a clear gloss. I also have a can of matte, clear matte finish, but only one piece that I've painted in the past after using the white chalk paint and then going in with this has turned like a yellow creamy color and I just stopped using it and I just let it have the chalk paint finish um, because I had worked so hard on the piece and then I went and covered it and it turned yellow. I do think it has something to do with the wood underneath. So um, I have chalk painted my entire dining room table and I've used three coats of the clear gloss on top and it has never yellowed. It's beautiful condition. So I think it depends really on the wood that's on the bottom of your paint, unfortunately. So enough of that rambling. 
we are going to get into this tutorial and you are going to see how easy it is to chalk paint furniture. Anybody can do this. You literally just need some paint and a paintbrush. And this goes on with very high coverage. So sometimes I haven't even done two coats on some of the pieces, but we'll see. Um, sometimes I do end up having to do two coats. So I am so excited to start painting this. I have been dying for a hutch like this for so long. <sighs> and I wanna show you like the antique legs. She's beautiful. Okay, let's get into this tutorial. So I want this video to be totally like raw and real so that it can help you when you're chalk painting. And one of the things I'm noticing with this piece is that there is so much bleed through. And I'm going to show you what I just put on wherever I put the paint can. Where's the paint can? Here it is. I have like so many projects going on in my house right now. It's a mess. but. I use Zinzesser Bullseye 123 primer. And I put that all over this piece. And I don't know if you can tell, but I just started going back over with the chalk paint. This is one coat of chalk paint after I did the primer and that is before. So you can tell that the original stain was coming through really bad and the piece was looking cream and not this crisp bright white that I wanted so 
if you are struggling with bleed through, that is an option that you can you can do. So I am still in the process of trying to cover this, but I'm so happy that I finally got the bleed through under control. I am so excited to finally reveal the hutch to you guys. So here it is. Here is a close-up of how it looks after I sanded a bunch of different parts of the edges just to give it a little bit of dimension. In the beginning, the drawer was um, coming apart here, like the veneer or whatever this finish was pulling off, the wood was coming off. and. At first I wasn't a big fan of that and I was like, oh, is that gonna look bad? But you can see that I kind of highlighted it with the sandpaper and it just gives it a really nice like dimension on the drawer. Sanded all these edges, the corners. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm loving it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram where I show loads of pictures of my house. So definitely follow me on there. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope that it inspires you to check out some local thrift stores. Um, scroll through Facebook Marketplace and find some pieces of furniture that you can fix up and put in your own home and do it on a budget. It's seriously so inexpensive and you can make any piece look brand new and beautiful in your own home. Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to comment down below how much you think I paid for this piece. And like I said, I will pin at the top who guesses the correct price and you guys can be blown away with me to know how much I got this piece for. I am so excited about it. It turned out beautifully. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any video recommendations that you wanna see like DIY stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys.